he fell back to sleep and I was just sitting there and I still see the room and everything, right? And I was sitting there and then all of a sudden he reaches out and he was like, why are you making that noise? And I guess I was going like, uh, ah! like that. Welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast, where no topic is off limits. We're the girlfriends that keep it real and give you different perspectives because we know one way isn't always the right way. Hi, welcome to the Real and Relatable podcast. I'm your co-host, MB. I'm LC. My name is Cash. I'm Ma. And thank you for joining us this Halloween weekend. Um, we want to start off by telling you what we're having today, our drink of choice. And today, my drink of choice is the sake. It's called Wandering Poet. It's actually one of my favorite Um Take a sip and let me know what you guys think. That's a pretty name, too. Cheers. Cheers. Wandering poet. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's really easy to drink. It is. It is. Yeah. I wonder you like it. Yeah. And it's hard to find, too. Like, Mm -hmm. Mm. did you guys get this one across the street? We did. Okay. Because we've been trying to look for it. We couldn't yeah. find it. And That's how we found friend, it. Yeah, one of our friends introduced it to us. Oh, okay, okay. And we've looked in Vegas. We couldn't find it. We looked in, like, by Carson. We couldn't find it either. So I heard that um, sakes are creepers. You don't think that it's strong, but it creeps on you. Is that true? Um, I, I guess if you have enough. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be lighter. Yeah, okay. But I would like it because it doesn't taste so harsh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tastes really refreshing. All right. So in today's episode, um, as you can tell, we're all dressed up. So let's go across the room and tell everyone what you're dressed as. I'm Wednesday. I'm Miss Rachel. I'm a circus ringleader. I thought we were supposed to guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys wouldn't have guessed her. I don't, I don't think know. you would have guessed. What was your, what was Miss Rachel. Rachel. So she's if on, you have kids, on YouTube. you know who I don't know. No, no, give, give us some background because we don't have kids. We don't. Well, I don't have I, kids either, but I know Miss Rachel. I thought she was Chucky. Because <laughs> <laughs> the overall. That's why I know you guys don't have kids. <laughs> So the you know, there's Blippi, uh, who also... Does. I don't think they know who Blippi is. Blippi is. <laughs> Man, don't you guys have nieces and nephews to watch? <laughs> the only thing I don't remember know? is I can only go as far back as Teletubbies. Oh, oh they, they, my God. Show. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So these are YouTubers. Yeah, they're YouTubers. Oh, okay. and oh. They pretty much are more geared towards like younger kids, toddlers. Okay. Um, They kind of teach them how to like speak. Are they an official show or are they just YouTubers who just blew YouTubers. up? Just YouTubers. Oh, really? So they Presley, just kind of be like, like my daughter, Presley, loves watching wow. Miss Rachel, and she pretty much is our co-parent. Presley learns wow. a lot from her, yeah. so camera guy over there is <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the, but that's the power of YouTube that I love is, you know, you have you have the power to take something in your hands, something that you're passionate about, if you have a talent, and really, like, catch your own audience. Mm-hmm. It's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say what you are? Chucky's bride. <laughs> <laughs> Do I pass? Do I pass? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. So with us getting started, is Halloween something that you guys still celebrate? I want to, but I don't know. Just don't really have the time to do it anymore. I love dressing up, though. I remember the one year we went to Chicago and I made our Katana and uh, Darna, what's her name? Melina? Melina's outfit. I forget. It's been oh, so long. The, yeah. the, the, um, Street, Street Fighter. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that Street cool. Fighter's oh, Mortal Kombat? I saw, I saw uh, photos. Kombat. Yeah. Mortal I saw Kombat. photos. Yeah. So okay. she was, so Melina's purple and I and Katana is blue. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to see those photos. I'm kind of that friend who never gets stressed up. Oh, my God. You should have seen her outfit. <laughs> 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 so, she, so she put on a, a short blonde wig and we were, I'm like, what are you supposed to be? That's what she is. I don't know. Drew Barrymore and Scream, I think. Okay. I was like, who the hell is supposed to guess that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I just don't. I, I guess I've never really been festive. I really don't go out out like to the ha- Halloween, you know, clubs or events as I was growing up. Yeah. Um, I was mostly in like, you know, relationships. So I never really went out. Yeah. So I never really dressed up. I love Halloween, dressing up, uh, going to like the haunted houses, the haunted mazes. But I that know I don't do. But I know but... none of you guys will go with me, so I haven't gone in like 
years. I don't like I'm the haunted. Maybe we should. Yeah. Uh, I'll go then. with you. The okay, the, you know, you know the thing with haunted house that I don't like is I don't like people touching me. And okay. I know they don't. They're not allowed. Okay. But I think it's just the thought okay. of them coming close enough. It gets me very, because I'm very jumpy. Yeah, well, I am too. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we all would be. Mm-hmm. I'm especially very jumpy, so I don't like being spooked. Yeah. I think I've gone to one haunted house. Oh, one. Okay. I mean, I'm like, I'm like, when I go, I'm like sweating to death because I'm like holding on to the person I'm with, like, with, with dear life. I still enjoy it. So when you do go through the haunted house, are you, would you rather be the person in the front or the person in the back? In the middle. <laughs> let's, let's make the middle not an, an option. Uh, the, ba- the one in the back. Yeah, back. <sighs> yes, probably. Because you can always like kick. <laughs> you're not allowed you're to go to them you're, you're not supposed to get you physical know just big. I know you're I know I have never been because I'm too much of a scaredy cat I don't even watch horror films mm. you know but yeah. you don't like watch I don't watch I don't so you watch basically them. don't watch I basically I'm like yeah, me now. we'll probably walk in circles like why is this thing lasting forever <laughs> <laughs> it's not ending <laughs> I think I used to enjoy horror movies when I was younger, but I feel like I've grown to be more of a chicken that I can't Um, really watch anymore. Yeah. What is the scariest movie you've seen? Oh, uh, The Exorcist. Like, I think it was one of those. I don't remember which one, but there was a dog. There was there were some dogs in there. It was one of them. Is it the (laughs) more current one? I wow, think- that's real. <laughs> I know exactly which one you're talking about. Uh, the guy, there, I just remember there was a dog scene. The dogs are really scary. But, okay, I'm more scared of movies that have to do with demonic things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spiritual, mm-hmm. De- demonic. Mm-hmm. That scares me the most. Yeah. I think because, like, religion and, mm-hmm. yeah, like, the devil and all that stuff, That to me, that's scary. But some people like jumpy stuff, and some people like, more gory and bloody and uh, you know so that's true. what's your preference or what scares you guys the most what type of movies and what's your scariest movie i something like the ring like what is that considered that's I like think it's spirit? more like spirit oh okay. yeah, yeah that is okay i would say the ring too okay. is which one was the ring again the one that the girl like, that girl crawled out, out of the tv, oh, the TV. The, yeah okay okay mm-hmm. That was kind of scary. Yeah, mm-hmm. mine's like two. There's watch a ton of <laughs> movies. Yeah, you watch a lot of. Yeah. Uh, you guys should check out my Voodoo account. It's like all horror movies in there. No, I've used her Voodoo account before. And when I log in, <laughs> it is all horror movies. <laughs> really? Well because, well, because my ex loved horror movies. Yeah. So, we, so even if so, I I usually don't watch horror movies, but because he loved it so much, we watched it all the time and it was super annoying but then i don't know it just kind of got me used to it so i don't mind it anymore plus my uh sister and my brother-in-law they love horror movies too when they were visiting they were watching horror movies oh yes they were yeah and so they like horror movies too but i think insidious is pretty scary because it's oh, pretty close right it's pretty close to our culture that's where yes. people get sat yeah. on yeah right? yeah okay we'll get oh uh, no, no no it's oh. it's like about a spiritual realm you know oh, kind of like yeah. uh our culture or Really? Yeah. Wait, which one is the one where people that's get That's fairly new, right? I feel like a couple years old. Uh, no, it's, oh. it, I mean, there's been a few parts mm-hmm. to it. Oh, okay. yeah. But it, it's like t- at least 10 years old. Yeah, right? yeah. It's oh, been a yeah. while. Yeah, it's okay. been a while. We should watch it. Mm-mm. No. No. And then there's another one. I can't, I can't think of the name of it, but that one was like a uh, borderline possession and uh, cult-like, right? Mm-hmm. I just, I think the reason why it was scary was, Okay, this is probably going to scare the hell out of you guys. So there's a, there's a part in the scene where the son goes to a house party, right? And his parents made him take his little sister with him because that's the only way he can go. So he went and she was allergic to some cake or something like that. And she ended up eating it. And so she started... Um, Convulsing? No. What is it? Choking. Yeah, kind of choking. Okay. And so he put her in the car and he was like, he was like uh, rushing down this highway to try to get her to a hospital because they're but they're in the, like the middle of nowhere and so she's like trying to grasp for air but she can't right so she rolls down the window and right when she rolls down the window she kind of sticks her head out to like to take uh, air or something he saw something in the road he swerved and right when he swore um he 
drove right past this pole and chopped her head off. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. It, it chopped her head off, and so he didn't know what to do. Like he just literally sat there, like well, I don't know what to do. But anyways, later on in in the scene, because he's so traumatized by that, and because his sister always makes this noise that uh, she always does when she's in the and she was in the back seat. He's like driving home and it's dark. And he's just sitting there and he's like driving home and it's dark and the back is dark. And all of a sudden in the back seat he hears that noise. The noise is like like that. And he hears oh, that gave me chills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and as soon as he heard that he like he stepped on the brake and he like he like freaked out because yeah. he was like he heard it from the back seat. I would do that too. Yeah. So so for a while after I watched that movie I couldn't drive in the dark by myself because I was afraid that I was going to hear that in the back seat or I'm going to look up in the rear view mirror and see something in my back seat. So for the longest time. That's kind of tough to live without driving in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is scary driving in the dark, though. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's probably the scariest part of that movie. Mm-hmm. So if you guys haven't seen I can't think of the name of it, but. <sighs> okay, maybe I don't want to see it. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> I'll put it in yeah. the description once. For the, yeah. for the people that are curious. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to Spiritual, you know, I really like that movie. What's that, you know, J-Lo movie that we watched? Like, um, gosh, why can't... J-Lo was in a scary movie? Well, it's not really like a horror film, but it's like, remember, she's like a therapist or whatever, where they have this technology where they she can go into the mind of the person. Oh, The Cell. The Cell. Hmm. It, Is that good? That's not a horror film, right? It's not a horror film. It's like a fantasy horror, but not really horror. Like a thriller. Suspense. Thriller. Yeah. Suspense. Yeah. Yeah, there are some scary elements, but it's not like horror scary. That no, it's, it's not. Scary. It's not a horror movie. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, Halloween is supposed to be like a spooky holiday. Yeah. Do you guys believe in spirits? And um, and- I respect them. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I acknowledge. I acknowledge them. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a like uh, Native Americans can believe in Hmong people, or certain people believe in shamanism. Uh, certain people believe in Christianity and other religions. I, I think that for me, I believe in, I, I respect and, and acknowledge all of them. Although I don't practice them, I still re- I still respect them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you believe they exist? I, I, I acknowledge and I respect it for the people that believe in it. Mm-hmm. I acknowledge and respect it, mm-hmm. but I don't practice it. Yeah. You know, I think that, I think that, um, Wait, so do you believe but it, it, it's not about not. practicing it? Like, do you just believe that there are spirits out there? She doesn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. If you had to choose yes or no. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of a hard one because I am Christian. And in my uh, traditionally, our culture is you know uh, shamanism and spiritual or you believe in spirits yeah and so with being christian we don't really talk about that and i wasn't raised around that Mm -hmm. i mean like i don't believe in ghosts and spirits and the answer is no yeah i don't believe it because i don't have the you know exposure to it Mm -hmm. but if you but if you really go like uh deep into um even christianity Right. They do like the exorcism and the preachers will like go and do that stuff. But I don't have any kind of firsthand knowledge of that stuff. Mm. So for me, in my mind, it doesn't exist. Like in my mind, it's just like me and God. OK. OK. Do you believe in it? I believe in it because I grew up around it. Well, not I yeah. grew up around a bunch of spirits or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I grew up around, you know, the religion that, that, that believes, believes in it. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ma. I think that you do grow up around a bunch of spirits. Dating, yeah. dating somebody for so many years and the spirits kind of follow. So, okay. So background story or background on that. So my ex is very prone to sleep paralysis and he had it a lot. Uh, so I would always constantly like wake him up whenever he yeah you know, and it was like almost it was literally every time every time he went to sleep right but it's also every like time. but the way yeah. you guys describe it is like a lot scarier than just like oh, regular yeah. oh yeah oh right? yeah Be- because his is like his the way he described things is like very more deep it's much more detailed and it is scarier i think just because i was around him for so long i feel like i was i became 
more prone to it too. Um, but I don't know if it's because being around him, it kind of yeah. tapped or kind of opened those doors. Oh, yeah. But give yeah. us some, give us the the background though, because when you say sleep paralysis, for me who doesn't believe in spirits and ghosts, I mean, give me your spiritual, like religious, like um, interpretation of um, sleep paralysis. You know, so sleep paralysis is in the, it is like the in between, right? Okay. So you're half awake, half asleep is basically what sleep paralysis is, right? You're half awake, half asleep. So you're not really asleep. You're not really awake, right? You're yeah. kind of in the middle. So that's kind of where his state of mind would have been. So I don't know. I don't know if it's a dream, but I don't know if it's reality, right? Okay. You can't. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It's, it's hard to say. Like he, he feels a it presence feels, of. It feels real, right? Of, yeah. of, something so yeah. that's the Some thing figure. that's yeah. the thing about sleep paralysis how people talk about it in medical terms yes you know you're you're half awake half asleep yeah so therefore your body you can't control it yeah you might feel like it's you're unable to move it's just because mm-hmm. your brain mm-hmm. you're in that state however a lot of people who who speak to the scarier side of uh, sleep paralysis is they see figures they see i had a friend just a couple weeks ago said that they saw a lady rotting, you know, Mm. things like that, that you wouldn't willingly or you wouldn't choose to see. But Mm -hmm. but then that's what they see. So it's there's more of a... I would say people who believe in spirits and ghosts say they see those things, but people who don't, when they have sleep paralysis, do they say they see figures and things like that? I don't think they do. Have you had sleep paralysis? No. Has anyone? I have never it? had. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know what that would feel like. Yeah. I I think I've had it one time, but I wasn't scared. I was in my my the, the room that my grandma's staying in right now at my mom's house. I I just remember I was asleep and I saw this figure and it just was kind of blended and fuzzy, a fuzzy figure. But it, it felt more like energy, mm-hmm. uh, like a fuzzy energy, but I could see this energy blob and I couldn't move, but I wasn't scared. I was more curious and I was thinking, oh my God, is this is this sleep paralysis? Is that a figure? Is this how it feels like? This is so freaking weird. Mm-hmm. And I, but I wasn't scared. I was I was just so curious. And then I, I snapped out of it and that's my only experience. But like you, um, Elsie, I also have a very strong faith in God, mm-hmm. and I also have a very strong faith in, uh, I wouldn't, like, I don't go to a church. I do claim Christianity, but it's I'm more so spiritual, and I believe in the higher force of God. Yeah. Um, so I do feel very blessed. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm very well looked after, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm more immune to certain things that other people that I know experience. I don't experience it. Mm-hmm. Very grateful. Mm-hmm. But how about you? Because I know you experience it all. Um, I do. I think um I think it's a little bit of both, right? So I believe it, but I also think that a part of it is also my mind too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean before I was with my ex it, it, it never it's never happened, you know, mm-hmm. to me. Like, even when we were dating for the first, like, five, six years or whatever, it never happened to me until, like, much later in our relationship. But I don't know. I don't know if that's because of stress and I don't know, whatever whatever it was. But mm-hmm. but I do feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, it sometimes when it does happen, like, I'm not so scared anymore because I can rationalize it, like, with, like, oh, it's probably because... I was really tired or it was probably because of something else or I'll just be like oh you know it's like it was nothing you know like I kind of say it was nothing brush it off yeah 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 because I think if you if I give give it too much attention it it, it just then it kind of just takes over it goes yeah it takes over my my mind and then I and then I get really scared and then going to be like us um on our colorado trip where i'm going to need people to go into the shower what happened with me. <laughs> on that colorado trip oh my god this girl okay she does have a lot of nightmares guys she, she's my roommate so like she has a lot of nightmares and i'm always in my room praying for her yeah she'll be squirming and like making noises and like and elsie would be like dear, dear god, god. <laughs> Please look out for her free. yeah Please take, i, I trust that you'll protect her, her. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting because you were my roommate for a while, yeah. but I don't think I've ever heard anything. 
Unless I'm that deep of a sleeper that... I think, no, just... I don't think it... No, because it didn't really happen mm. much when we were living yeah. together. I think when we were living together, uh, at least here in LA, I think it only happened once. Yeah. And that was because... But I don't think you, like, you, like, screamed or anything like no, that. No, I didn't. And it only, hap- it only happened once because... It only happened once, be- and I think it was more so related to our friend who was pregnant at that time. Oh. Uh, I think it was more so just uh, a sign, you know? <clears throat> uh, huh? Stress? No, 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 because she was, she was pregnant, and we, we didn't know the gender of her. The kid came to visit you. Yeah, and her child spirit, I don't know whatever it is, that came to maybe visit Surprise! me. I don't know. So it was interesting what? because, yeah. like, the next day, because I was also pregnant, too, yeah. and I didn't know the gender. Yeah. So the next morning, she woke up, and she was like, it's interesting, because I wasn't really staying in L.A. anymore. I was in Vegas, but I was going back and forth because we still had our lease. And Ma was like, it's really interesting. Like, I had uh, sleep paralysis last night, and the, it was like, there's this little boy. Mm-hmm. So maybe you're having a boy. And I'm like, really? Yeah. That's interesting. And because our other friend was there, too, that day. Yeah. But the thing is, I had a daughter. She had a boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The interesting thing about this is, and I want to ask, too, um, do you think some people are more prone to these type of energy so when you're around them yeah you you also feel it yeah because she's more prone to she to is energy yes she is right yes what kind of energy so oh, she is she she's christian but and she doesn't get scared she doesn't get scared either but she is much more she is more prone to those energy and she does kind of see them see them or oh. i mean like if you really want me to tell you a story it's gonna scare the crap out of you guys I'm not going to be able to sleep in my own room. <laughs> oh, We're yeah. going to have to sleep together. You might have sleep paralysis. No. I might have to save you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you definitely can sleep over. But um, but um, no, because remember when we used to live. So the, so remember when we first moved in together at the house in yeah. Minnesota? Yeah. So she slept over. Right. And she she slept over and she slept upstairs. And she remember hearing one of our cupboards closed. Right. And so she like she just thought she just told herself that it was like nothing. She was like, oh, it's nothing. Right. It's just, you know, it's, you know, she was just in her mind. So the next day she went home and she went to she went to sleep. And when she went to sleep, she said she had a dream. And somewhere in the dream, she went to go open her closet in her in her room. And there was two ladies in there. And they basically told her that they followed her home and they're going to stay in her closet. And so it kind of scared her and she, you know, prayed and, Mm -hmm. and I was like, you weren't scared. She was like, no. I was like, well, at least they followed you home and didn't stay at our house. (laughs) Um, But, um, but yeah, but she is, she's more prone to things like that. Like she'll, she'll see things like that and she'll like dream things like that. So it's interesting because like she said, like when we were staying together, she didn't experience anything in that particular night that she, that friend was over. Yeah. She experienced that. Yeah. And it was a boy and she ended up having a boy. I ha- I have a daughter. Yeah. So, yeah. So when you came to visit me yeah. in San Francisco and you were, we were sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, it was like, I think two, three in the morning. I couldn't yeah. sleep. So I was on my phone, like probably playing games or something. You were asleep and Sheila was there. Sheila was, was asleep too. Yeah. And you started whimpering and, yeah. and yes, and that's, yeah, that's how she, yeah, yeah you started wh- whimpering and just getting like really scared. And, yep. and I was, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I gotta save her. I gotta <laughs> save her. So I ran over to you. I was like, wake up, wake up. You're okay. Wake up. And I was trying to save you. Right. Yeah. Um, and then you, you were scared, but you woke up and you're like, oh. Oh, actually, I lied. I have experienced that with you when we were in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it, it was our Vegas. friend. It happened in Vegas. Yeah, oh, there's so many stories about me. <laughs> yes. No, because you and her were sleeping in one bed. Yeah, me yeah. and Cash were sleeping yes. in another. And then all of a sudden, we just hear you, like, scream. Yes. And she wakes you up. No, no, because so, so that one was a little bit. So that one, that one, so for Cash's story, it was like... I, I don't remember much of it. I just remember there was there was a a, a, a man or something like that. That's like when in the morning I woke up, I was like, did I sleep on this side of the bed? And you, yes, you're you like, did say that. 
And you're like, oh yeah, he did. He did. I'm like, oh okay, that makes a little bit more sense about why. why? What kind of man? I I, I don't re- I don't remember. I, I just you don't remember. Yeah, I just remember it was a male presence. It wasn't like a very. Oh. It wasn't like a very positive. Yeah. See, w- energy. W- w- when we yeah. woke up, <laughs> me and my ex, we you know like we used to sleep on that bed. <laughs> yeah. And then she did say, what side of the bed did your ex sleep on? Yeah. You know, and I did say you slept in the side that he usually sleeps on because yeah. I tend to sleep on the same side. Yeah. And th- and and then and Ma said, oh, OK, I, OK, that makes sense. Yeah. As if it was nothing. Yeah. But, but wait, what, what do you mean that makes sense? I don't I don't yeah, I don't, no, no. I don't remember like what energy? the dream was, oh. but I remember there was a male energy of some sort that mm-hmm. wasn't like a very good energy. I just, so maybe it was just an energy field. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the one in Vegas, I forgot was it was forgot what kind of dream it was. But uh, I do remember when we first walked into the room. I was like, oh, this did you feel an this energy? feels off, you know, like yeah. oh, the uh-huh. room feels off, okay. you know, but I was like, well, OK, but it's fine because there's four of us, you know, mm-hmm. so it's fine. It's not going to be a big deal. But I just remember we were sleeping. And I think I dreamt that we were at a hotel, but it wasn't at the in the dream. It was some other hotel. Yeah. And I would think I was like reaching for I was reaching for something. I think it was like a desk or a chair or something. But when I was reaching for something, something was also reaching for my hand. And so Whoa. But when that thing was reaching for my hand, our friend touched me at the same time. So she touched me the same. Oh, time. that's why you. Yeah, <laughs> that's why when I woke up, I screamed. Oh, oh because, my god! Because in so that's what happens when yeah. you have a nightmare and you you are you're in the middle of a nightmare and somebody in real life is trying to wake you up. Yeah. It transfer into your dream, you know. So she was trying to wake you up, and so your mind is dreaming that someone's trying to grab your. But hand. she didn't know that her eyes were closed. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, no, because no, because yeah, I was like yeah. no, because I was like oh, like I'm like. She and so when I screamed, she she was she was like, "Well, I woke you up because you were like you were making noises, yeah, or whatever." Yeah, exactly. And so I was like, "Oh, okay." I'm like, "It's so weird because right when you touched me is where I dreamt that you know w- whatever was reaching for me touched me." Yeah. And I just remember I screamed. <laughs> I screamed. I think you screamed. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then I was and like, I think you screamed because. Yeah. <laughs> I think mean, everyone screamed. Everyone screamed. Hey, and then, and then, and then, I mean, it was fine. It was, I mean, it was fine. Uh, sometimes I'm afraid to sleep uh-huh. with her. I know. That's why, that's why after, after that night, we, we, we did it. It was already in the plan that we we're going to switch hotels anyways. Mm-hmm. We switched hotels and these two wouldn't sleep in the same bed. Yeah, we, we slept together. <laughs> <laughs> like, they Whatever gonna... energy is following her, we don't want it. So we slept yeah. together. Yeah. But did you guys get what I'm saying, though? You yeah. were already having a nightmare about something. Yeah. And then it transferred to the hand uh, trying to yeah. uh, grab you because your friend was trying to wake you up already. Yeah. So, like, for example, I had a nightmare once. This is, like, one of the very, very few nightmares I had. And it's not even that scary. It was just me as a child. It was just, like, kids playing on the playground and a man wearing dark clothes. I don't remember if he had long dark hair or a hat. But he was like basically just watching the children from the fence, like kind of scary. Mm-hmm. And it's like um, I'm watching the whole view. All of a sudden, like he opens his mouth to talk, and I, I it's it's just a noise coming from his mouth. Oh, oh, and it's so scary. But like I wake up, it's my <laughs> alarm clock. That's not even scary. No, but when you are. <laughs> It is very scary <laughs> in the dream when there's this scary, weird looking man. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, like when he opens his mouth and it's just a weird noise. It's just a And then, like, yeah, it is actually scary. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh shit, that's my alarm clock. Oh my God. <laughs> Whatever is happening in your real life is transferring into your nightmare. No, that's interesting. Not, not always. Some, yeah, yeah, not, not, not always. always. Yeah. I mean, what was the most scariest dream you've ever had in your life that you remember? I don't remember a lot of my dreams. And if it's, I don't have a lot of scary dreams either. What if you had yeah. to choose one this, of the scariest? Probably when you went to Chicago with them. That's not a dream though. Yes. She had I, I, I had sleep paralysis um, once. Oh, so, right. so usually when I book a hotel, I need to know what the hotel is. But this time I decided like, you know, we're just going to price line it and... 
if it's affordable oh okay we'll stay there and like, i like wanted the, like the like the deal vicinity yeah okay so okay. i was like i know i want to be downtown because i just want to hang out down there i want to be able to walk and so um we booked this hotel and i've never heard of it so i'm like okay whatever you know we're not really going to be in the hotel much anyways mm -hmm. uh this was in my past relationship mm -hmm. and we took a really early flight it was like a six or seven a.m flight so we had to be at the airport pretty early Mm -hmm. um and when we got there we were both like really tired so we we're like let's just go check in let's go to sleep and then we can explore chicago further and it's weird because once we got to the hotel it, it's older and the hallways are very narrow mm -hmm. so when we got to the room for some reason we both started to feel sick what yeah like physically yeah physically Ooh. sick and he said at first and then i was like you know what? i i am kind of feeling sick but i don't know if it's just because we're maybe both mold tired no we, we, I, I don't know <laughs> I, I i just figured like maybe we were both sleep deprived you know that because we were up late and we had to be at the airport at 4 a.m so i'm like you know we're probably just sleep deprived let's just get some sleep and i couldn't really sleep he he went to sleep and then i remember I was still up. I was on my phone. The room is pretty small. And I looked over at him and he had this, he, he was asleep, but he had this really weird look on his face. Oh my Wait, gosh. were you asleep? Were you? No, I, I was awake. You were not dreaming. No, no, no. I wasn't dreaming. I was still awake. He fell asleep first. Oh, that's mm -hmm. scary. Yeah. He had this really unusual look on his face. How unusual? Like scary? I, I knew close. Close. No. Yeah. He, he, was, yeah, asleep. he was asleep. He's not just making it not like face. scary but just a look that you normally don't have when you're sleeping like is uh -huh. it maybe lips were like i don't smiling. know i can't recall the face smiling. but i just it was just scared or no it was just i don't know i i, I can't describe the face now okay. but it was just an unusual look it's not his usual look and i was just thinking like yeah. oh that's really interesting but i didn't do anything so i'm just like okay i'm i go back to like scrolling on my phone mm. and then he wakes up he's like oh my gosh i was staring right at you you didn't wake me up what and he has sleep paralysis wow. and i was like oh wow oh no wonder God. because you looked really weird okay. like your expression was very weird oh, wow scary. yeah and he's like you were looking right at me but you didn't uh you didn't wake me up and i was oh like oh gosh. like his eyes was closed so I'm just like, he's like, wow, this is so weird. I swear this place is haunted. And so like, I didn't think too much of it. And I was sitting there. He fell back to sleep and I was just sitting there. And I still see the room and everything, right? And I was sitting there. And then all of a sudden he reaches out and he was like, why are you making that noise? And I guess I was going like, uh, ah! like that. <laughs> but I didn't realize it's the one skin. I don't know. She jumped up. For real. <laughs> so I guess like the funny thing was when he what? said that, I realized I was doing that. But when he touched me, I stopped. Wait, you mm. were making the noise? Yeah, I, I guess I you was. Asleep. But I, I, I heard you... myself at the last <laughs> minute when he woke me up. And the funny thing is, I didn't think I was asleep because the whole time I felt like my eyes open. I saw the whole room. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. Yeah. Wow. And so after he said that, I was so freaked out. I couldn't, like, I was like, I don't want to stay in this room anymore. I want to, like, leave. I think we should just book another room. But he was like, no, we're just going to stay here. We already paid for it. We're not even really going to be in the room. So that was my first experience. But it, it's very interesting because I'm such a scaredy cat. Mm -hmm. But at the time when that was happening to me, I don't think it registered to me. And when I got home, we were roommates at the time, too. And I was telling her about it. And she was like, I think you got sleep paralysis. You but you didn't add feel on. any figures sitting on top of you. No, but I, I, I think also because I'm so scared that... Um, you know, when we talk about like guardian angels and whatever, I think because whoever is looking after me or watching me, I think they know that I get really scared. So they protect me and they make me very oblivious to certain situation. So in the moment, I I don't realize it's happening. So I'm not scared. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But my like, guardian angels need to work harder. <laughs> Yeah, I just left it off for real. For real. They, they must be on vacation. <laughs> yeah. we know, like, we're not gonna need to. We're gonna need to pray every night. <laughs> yeah, we go to bed. Yeah, I'm have so to pray. I'm very oblivious night. to certain things, and I I wasn't even scared about it. But technically, I'm such I'm the biggest scaredy cat. I think out of all of us. But here. I can't believe you were making that. I'm that is scared. That, too. Uh, no. Yeah, that, but why I didn't did you really repeat it. <laughs> That's just scary. I know, but it, it's weird. That, I didn't. That's the same noise that, they, that man was making. No, you don't oh, use that alarm. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally different. 
can't we fit two things? Uh, oh my god! But <laughs> besides the whole like, <laughs> besides the whole sleep paralysis, have you guys experienced anything like scary or know someone? No, like I don't think so. No, mm. I thought you the only story that I think he told me that was like really like like really freaky, which I didn't really understand. I I still to this day don't understand the story. All I know is he was asleep and in his dream, he was like fighting spirits or whatever it was. I guess his brothers and them must have heard him struggling or screaming or whatever it was. And they ran downstairs to kind of like wake him up. And then when they woke him up, his clothes was like all ripped. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. But do you think he ripped it? Maybe he himself? did. Yeah, oh, he yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Maybe he did himself. Yeah. No, no, he did himself. no. It's it's not like ripped like how we would rip it. It's like slashed, shredded, like you know. Yeah. Are you like, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe, but maybe he, it was doable. He did. He had. No, to no, no. He, he said. He said it was. Uh, it was more like, more like shredded and cut. Like, like, like not fingers. Oh, nails. okay. Like, yeah. Like, like the force knife. The, like, yeah, like knife, sword, swords. Knife. Yeah, things like that. And I, I, I don't know. It's just what was told to me, yeah. and his his brothers can attest to it because they were there when he when they woke him up wow. from. That's like this? some Freddy wow. Krueger stuff. Yeah, For real. I would have to see the shirt for myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I, god. I, okay, let's turn back. Like, I would like, like to his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's just what I. It was just what I was told as like one of his most scariest. And yeah, but some people yeah. exaggerate. I wouldn't say that was an exaggeration. He's pretty detailed when he tells the scary stuff that happens to him. He's he's you know he's a creative, so he's very detailed about how he explains things, you know, and he's okay. and, and he can describe things in in like more detail than I care to know. But okay. I'm but that's the scariest thing that I think mm-hmm. I've ever heard. These topics are very interesting. Um, so let's like bring it back and make it lighter because I don't know why I'm feeling scared right now. <laughs> And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm your friend. That's not a horrible thing. Yeah. 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 I, I might sleep over here, and I don't know if well, I have to sleep with. Me. I don't know if I want to sleep with her or alone. <laughs> you have a choice. I don't know. Do I feel safer on the couch or next to you? Where I might hear you whimpering. You'll be then fine. You're gonna be the one going to wake her up because yeah. I'm just praying. Yeah. She's gonna be in her room safely praying. Yeah. Pray, pray for me too. Yeah. So You'll be fine. <laughs> So, I mean, we've all gone trick or treating, right? Have you? Yeah. Yes. All of us? Yeah. yeah. Either, yeah. So, we're just going to bring it back, make it more light. So, what are what are your favorite candies and least favorite candies when you guys do go trick or treating? Oh my god, you know those candy corns? I hate eating those. Oh, me too. Oh, they're so great. I hate those black and orange candy, like taffy almost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's always so many of those. It's black like and orange? Yeah, it's you like white and orange? No, no, it's orange? like black and orange. It's like taffy almost. I just think those are disgusting. Oh, I think it's okay. You gonna have about. to Google that and show me. And like, I don't like Smarties. I, I don't know. I don't like. I always hate. Oh yeah, they're, they're the ha- hard powder. Oh. Really, I don't like them. But my favorite's Kit Kat. Mm. <laughs> oh, I don't like Kit Kat. I like Snickers and Almond Joy. Uh, mine used to be Crunch, Reese's Pieces, and Nerds. Mm. Nerds are fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's Kit Kat Snickers. I had a. We had a neighbor. Well, when I was still living in Merced. So in Merced, when we were younger, this was like when I was 14 or whatever. So our in the town that we lived in, it was like a very small town. So we can literally walk around the entire, our little area. And it was really fun because everyone like decorated their ho- their houses, right? And so they would do like all the scary stuff where they had like people pop out of like the garbage or they have like the fake person at the so it was really festive really really fun yeah no wonder you like to dress up yeah and and we had one neighbor who like lived on one side of us and her her uh halloween treat was pomegranants pomegranates the fruit yeah yeah the one with this the seeds yeah that's cute yeah Yeah. that's yeah so every year she she'll get i just remember when i was a kid and i got them like not even a candy man <laughs> but i mean but now i think about it i appreciated that it's pretty cool and then our neighbors like down this down the street would give us um change like five ten oh. cents or so and they'll mm-hmm. they'll give it to us in like a little ziploc that's bag cute. Wow. Oh, yeah it's cute. cute yeah and what what about you cash well i like i like 
now and laters, but I hate Laffy Taffy's. Now and laters? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I used to like them, but now I think it's too cause, tart. Because we're, they're hard, and then and then when you chew them, they get softer, but they, they, they evaporate real quick, you know? Laffy Taffy's just gross. It just sticks to your teeth. <laughs> and I hate the song. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I know. I did not know that song. So there's a song. Shake your laugh at Taffy. Oh, 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 that song. Yeah, there's a song. I hate that song. It's so annoying. <laughs> now you hate the candy because of that like, song. No, I've always hated the candy, but no, the, the candy song. came before the song. Yeah, the song yeah. reinforced it. I was like, the song is as bad as the candy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wow. Every time the song came on, I was like, I think it's time to go to the bar for a drink. <laughs> So bad. Well, thank you, ladies, for sharing your experience. And whether or not you celebrate Halloween, I think it's just a really good excuse to get together and hang out with family and friends. Um, And we wish you a happy Halloween. Again, whether you celebrate or not, just stay safe. And um, please share any experience that you've had. Um, If you've had any of our experience, any any traditions that you do for Halloween, um, again, please like, subscribe and share our channel. Um, And until next time, bye everyone. Stay safe out there. Bye. Bye.